Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series half Red Hulk, half Green Hulk Compound Hulk. So let's go over the packaging here. So we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top. The red uh Hulk logo here, compound hulk with the green mint red hue with the green to the green hue. And then here's the cider of that compound hulk with that same thing going on with the colors except with the Hulk emblem. And then here is the back with the details. You get the Hulk side here, Green Hulk, and then Red Hulk, and then you see them uh, all together. You get the Marvel Legends logo here. Same artwork on the other side. Here is the top with that Hulk emblem there. And then here is the bottom with the DC pack. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Compound Hulk on a package here. So let's go over his accessories, which are just his hands. So we've gotten these hands before. You get one red hand here, and then you get the green one here for the other side of the compound Hulk. And then you get all the wrinkles and knuckles there. We've seen these hands before and they're the same exact hands. They're just opposite hands, you know? So yeah, and that's all we got for accessories. So let's bring them up here. So this is the same body mold as the Red Hulk, I believe. I do not have the Green Hulk. Um, I wish I did so I can you know, have Green Hulk on this side and then Red Hulk on the other. But I have Red Hulk. I just need Green Hulk now. Uh, I also want to try doing like a Hulk shelf when I have more shelving. But yeah, let's just go over the figure now. So yeah, you get that like spiked up hair. It's black hair. So yeah, you got all those curls and stuff like that going on, on the top of the head. And then on the Red Hulk side, you get the screaming face with the white teeth there. And then on the Red Hulk side, you get some like dark red wash for the wrinkles on the face. Uh, I, th it, it, I think you guys can tell, but the red on the face and on the body are, look like they're different. And you get the yellow eyes for him there. And then you get like the shiny red paint, more dark paint for the body. You got all those veins popping out there. You got all the muscles and stuff like that going on. Here's his arms. Get some lighter red there to give it more depth or make it more popped out. And you got fisted hands for both sides too. Uh, and then here's the back. And you get the black pants for him here with some tears in there. You get the ripped up bottom part of the pants. And then you get the red feet. And then on the green Hulk side, you get the normal eyes with some dark green uh, for giving the face more depth. And then for the torso, get some lighter green there to make it more popped out. You get all those same muscles and get some veins popping out there. On the other, on the arm here, you get all those veins popping out there too. You get some lighter green there too for the bicep shoulders and forearms. You get fist to hands here. You get purple pants for them with some tears and the tear, torn up bottom part of the pants. Here's the back side of that. And then you get the green feet. Here's back. And then that's all we really got for the look. So let's go already over the articulation. See, he has a disc wall joint. He can look down that far. He look up that far, left and right. His shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. He has butterfly joints that go back that far, forward that far. He has bicep swivel, single jointed elbows, which go up that far. And you guys to swivel it if you want. Wrist can hinge down that far, up just that far, 360 rotation. He has a ball joint at the torso, so he can go down that far, that uh, go back that far. He can go side to side, uh, a little bit of twisting there. And you also got a waist swivel, 360 rotation there. Legs to kick out that far, forward that far, backwards uh, not a lot. You got thigh cut, double jointed knees there. Uh, they're pinless at the bottom, but you get pins on the top there. And the ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. And here is Compound Hulk next to the Red Hulk. They're basically the same exact figure, except, you know, this one has the half green Hulk and the Red Hulk. And I think this one has a little bit more detail for the Red Hulk side. You get the black nails for the feet and the uh, fingers. So, yeah, and then... 
I think this one does a better job with the paint applications because like this one, the torso just looks like it's just flat red. Whereas this one has like more dark and then it has some light there for the chest. So yeah. But yeah, that's the Compound Hulk for you. I recommend you get him. Uh, I know the MCU Collector 24 did uh, a review on this for the like, Walmart Con. I believe that's what it was. Um, and you can only get him online at Walmart. Uh, he's a really cool figure. Uh, I like the design of it. I like the idea of it. I wish I had a green Hulk so that way I can do, you know, I already explained this, but the green Hulk on this side and the red Hulk on that side. I also want to do a Hulk shelf when I have more shelving. So, uh, yeah, it's basically the same exact figure though. Uh, just a different paint job, basically. Um, and yeah, uh, that's all I really got for this figure. He's cool. I recommend you get him though because, like, he's. One of a kind, I don't think they'll do something like this with a Hulk like that again. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got. So make sure you guys check out my link, my link tree. It has my TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter if you guys want to help support me on those. But besides that, thanks for watching.